It's Wednesday, about halfway through the week. The word for you today, this December the 11th, Luke chapter 7, verse 47. Jesus is speaking and says, Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, for she loved much, but he who has been forgiven little loves little. A Pharisee named Simon has come to Jesus and he's invited Jesus to his home for a banquet and he's having a banquet and all these people are there. And and this Pharisee is, we don't know what was going on in, in his mind and his heart. Some people come to some conclusions based on on the story, but we really don't know. We don't know whether he was trying to trap Jesus. We don't know if he was really checking Jesus out. We, we don't know. But there are some things we do know. While Jesus was reclined eating dinner at Simon's house, Simon the Pharisee's house, there was a woman who was known around town as being a notorious sinner. What was her sin? Some say she was a prostitute. It doesn't say that. Just know she was a notorious sinner. So she comes around to Jesus and she, she's so overcome by love for Jesus because of what he has done for her. And what has he done for her? He's forgiven her of her sin. And she's, she's just, she recognizes that she was absolutely nothing she could do. Nothing she could do to save herself. She even hated a lot of the things that she did. And here's this man. This man that recognizes her value as a person. And she bows at Jesus' feet. And, and as she's overcome with emotion, she just begins sobbing and her tears falling on Jesus' feet. And, and she washes his feet with her tears and then derives them with her hair. And then brings this alabaster jar of perfume and pours it on his feet and begins kissing his feet. All of this is done as just because she, she's so grateful. Well, in the meantime, Simon's looking at this and he's saying, okay, Jesus isn't anybody special because if he'd known who this woman was, she would, he wouldn't be allowing her to touch him. So he's, he's really not, he's really not anything special. And then Jesus looked at Simon, Simon, I have something to say to you. Simon says, okay, master, say it. So Simon, a certain money lender had lent it, lended money to two two different people. One 50 denarii, the other one 500. A denarii was a day's wage for a common worker in that day. So one owed 50 days work, the other one owed 500 days work. And Jesus said the money lender determined that he would forgive both of their debts. So Simon, which of the two would love him more? Simon says, I suppose the one who had the greater debt. I suppose, you know, you could eventually pay off the 50 days, but not the 500. The one had a, a debt they could never even think about repaying. And Jesus says, you've answered correctly, Simon. Simon, when I came into your home, you didn't give me the customary kiss on the cheeks. Simon, when I came into your home, you did not offer me a, a, anything to wash my feet with. Simon, when I came into your home, you, you did not anoint my head with oil. These were just customary every day. It'd be like somebody come into your home uh, in the wintertime and offer to take your coat and offer you a place to sit down. And these are just things you would expect someone to do. Well, that, that was expected in those days. And Simon didn't do any of that. And then Jesus turned to the, said, Simon, do you see this woman? Well, of course he sees this woman, but Jesus saying, look at her in a different way. Simon, she has washed my feet with her tears. She has not stopped kissing my feet. She has anointed my feet with oil. I mean, you didn't do any of those things, but she's done all of them. And Simon, she didn't do these things to be forgiven. But Simon, she has been forgiven. And she did these things because she was forgiven because she had great gratitude in her heart. You and me, how about us? How much do we love Jesus? You know, I'm a nice person. I do good things. Matter of fact, I even give money to help people at Christmas time. You know, I'm really a pretty good guy. I, I'm a sinner. 
I'm a sinner that has no chance of entering heaven except by the grace of Jesus Christ. It's the only way I can get to heaven. And when I realized I don't have a chance, I'm so grateful to him. and I love him so much because I don't have a single chance. Then you have a serial murder. Oh, that guy's really bad. Well, you know what? In the eyes of, of God, we're both sinners and we both fall short. It doesn't matter if, if we a long way short or a short way short, we're still short. And Jesus said to Simon, Simon, he who loves little forgives little. How about you? How is your relationship with God? Do you tend to look at other people and say, man, look at they're pretty bad shape there. God, God wouldn't want them. Do you tend to look down at other people or do you tend to just be grateful for what God has done for you? God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus. What is our response? The question is not God's love for us or somebody else. The question is our response to Jesus for what he's done for us. Your past qualifies you as a worshiper. We all have a past. We all have a past as sinners. And because we've sinned, we can't get to heaven on our own. Let us worship let us worship the one who made it possible for us to have an eternity in heaven. Have a good day.